Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it is poll day. Uh, you'll be seeing this video tomorrow, but it's today for me. Whatever, we're doing polls. We got the worth meter on the screen, and we're going to get straight to it. So we have a couple uh, goals in mind here, and we're going to do a couple different polls. Nivlu is the biggest prize of the day, right? Like, that's what we're going for the most. But we would also like to get the new Final Fantasy XIV Vision card, which looks really hard to get. There's not a pity out there for that. There doesn't seem to be any kind of like, oh, you're guaranteed to spend so much Vizior, you'll get it kind of thing. So to really fill our worth meter all the way up, we're going to have to get a little lucky and hit that. And I don't know how much we're going to pull for it. That probably depends on how quickly we get Nivlu. Um, speaking of getting Nivlu, she does have a banner, and she's right up on this banner. It has the pity gauge, all that stuff. There is this three-step up paid banner. We're going to check out the drop rates on this real quick. If she's featured on this with a uh, boost, we'll definitely pull on it. She's not. She's just regular, um, regular rarity. But as you get to the end of it, that third pull... What what are we looking at for here when we get to our um, to our guaranteed gunner? You get 25% chance. So I actually kind of like this banner because instead of that like 10% chance pity you get on the regular one, you get a 25% chance kind of like pity and you still get the coins. So we're probably going to do that. We're going to do the ticket summons for the Final Fantasy uh, 14 ticket summons we already have gotten today. Uh, to fill up the worth meter even more, we're going to want to get some Thancred shards there. That's the big prize of those tickets, is Thancred shards. So let's start. Let's start with this uh, step up for the gunner. Uh, three steps. We got plenty of paid. We get coins every step. And Nivlu is the prize. So here we go. It's nice to see that gold book. Now show me it. Oh, it's a vision card. Man. I don't think the Final Fantasy XIV vision cards are on this, so I don't know what this is, and it's not looking like we're going to get a double rainbow right off the bat. But that's alright, there's plenty of vision cards we're working on. Um, that's a new vision card for us, so that's kind of a cool get. Not good enough to uh, put a bunch of boosts to the meter, but, you know, something, a nice little side prize. Okay, what's our rainbow here? Finrear. We're done with Fenrir, and we're officially 0 for 1 on pulls. But hey, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. No big deal. We do get our 100 coins, so you like to see that. What's this vision card do? Let's just check. Oh, it's the Dark Attack Up um, MR vision card. Yeah, it's not going to be real good for us because we have Diablos, or I have Diablos maxed out on this account. So, all right, anyway, continuing on the step up. Step number... Two. Gold book. Let's see a unit. Come on. There's a unit. That's what we want to see. Very good. Maybe maybe a double rainbow. Maybe we can work that in there, Gumi. A double rainbow. Very nice. A lot of blue stuff. Uh, makes it kind of hard to level that MR stuff you're trying to level when you don't catch any MRs on these poles. But we might get a change. Okay. Vision card. Eh, eh. Kind of like the last video, we catch another one of those. It's still not maxed, so that's fine. Oh, change to gold, all right. And Lilith, all right. Okay, here we go. Come on, Nivlu. Katone, not bad, not bad. We're working on Katone, uh, slowly. That was a double rainbow. We'll boost the worth meter just a little bit there. We got two UR things that we didn't have finished, and we get the bonus, okay. Now, the next poll kind of determines how much viz we have to use to like, do we have to go deep down the rabbit hole chasing Nivlu, or do we get her on this lucky step up? So we got a 25% chance uh, on the guaranteed rainbow here to get Nivlu. Come on, we're due. We haven't had a lucky poll day in a while. So yeah, it's a unit, it's gonna change changed <laughs> to yellow it's gonna make us earn this like it's gonna make us earn it that's fine let's see if we can get some more change it's no good click through all the blue stuff 
Oh man, you guys, the blue stuff is brutal. Like, they don't release any new of that stuff, so you just already have it done. Okay, Suro. Okay, change. Now, come on, game. Come on, game. Hook us up! Oh? Oh? Did we do it? Let's go! Let's go! All right! Got Niblu on the step up. We have Vizior to spare to chase the rest of our dreams. <laughs> We got we, we can dream again, you guys. We can dream. That is a beautiful thing. And we the gambling pays off. Alright. We have plenty of viz left. Let's do something with it. Alright. Now this Shadowbringers banner. What's the drop rate for our uh, our new vision card here? What's it? even called we want scions of shadow I believe bringers of shadow scions of shadow well we just need to see what the drop rates are on either one of those is fine because they're probably the same so scions of shadow so it's 0.8 it's boosted it is boosted on this banner you have about a 1% chance of getting it okay not bad we're gonna pull on this let's say five times that'd be 10,000 viz if we don't get the card we don't get the card no big deal if we do get the card we have the duration of this period to boost it via the whimsy shop and we can live with that so here we go first pull starting it off with a silver book okay it's a unit. Man, that's not great. We would like from this Thancred. Uh, we're going to have to find some Thancred shards along the way to get this done. Okay, we don't have that finished, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, we would like to catch some more Thancred in this banner. I think he is in here. And we will get some coins on this that we can use to get Thancred shards, which will make maxing him even easier because he's already pretty easy to max. Oh, new unit. Okay. Titus. Eh, not a great unit, but still, new unit, that's cool. No change, Sir O for the second time, and alright. O for one, we're gonna do five. It's crazy to me that they don't run a pity on this, but they really want to take advantage of people trying to gear up for the light meta. So, uh, they release a vision card like this that's a powerful light vision card. They're hoping people just, uh, you know, go nuts for it. And you can see the worth meter is already pretty full. Now, we could really max it out by hitting this card, but uh, early returns on hitting the card, not great. Yeah, there's one of the collaboration cards, so that's something. Mm -hmm. We're not too worried about maxing that card, though. Change. Nope. Ketone's card. Change to gold, and we get Marielle. Okay, we're working on her. That's not bad. So that wasn't a worthless pull, but not worth 2,000 busy or that's for sure. All right, let's go again. It'd be really cool to get this card and get it maxed. Like, I'd be a big-time account power-up. Brown book and unit. If this doesn't change, we're skipping. Change to gold. All right, we'll click through it. We have some clicking to do. All right, perks of having charm, fine. Click, click, click. All of the clicks. And change, no change. We haven't hit a rainbow on this banner yet. That's kind of bad. We have two poles left to see if we can catch this thing. And if not, we just have some coins to put towards Thancred and we'll call it, uh, we'll call it a day. All right, silver book. It is a unit again. Doesn't change. Ugh. This banner feels rough, you guys. Like, I don't know if anybody else is pulling on this, but this banner feels kind of rough. All right, skip. Yeah, nothing going on in there. I'll take the Ravis shards. All right, last pull on this banner. 
gold book. Vision card. Watch, the game is going to troll us and give us the Final Fantasy XIV vision card we don't want. Or it could give us both. It's not going to do the both. It just said, you're crazy if you think I'm going to hook you up like that. We've already had a good pull session, so it's fine. It would just be the icing on the cake if we could get that Final Fantasy XIV card here. All right, moment of truth. Center yourself. Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. That's one of them. Is that the right one? Or did we get trolled? Hold on. Hold on. It's the wrong one. That's really unfortunate. Like, wait, what is this card? Is this card as bad as it looks like it is? Bringers of Shadow, if you're fire, you get magic attack. This card's sort of bad. Ugh, Gumi, please, why? Why? We're not maxing that card. That card's trash. Um, like, who do you put that card on? Like, I don't know. Weird card. Okay, but anyway, we got the big prize. So, Nivlu, full send. We'll have her built as soon as possible. Get some videos out of that. Uh, Thancred, we got some extra coins to invest towards his shards. We still have to do our ticket summons. How could I forget about that? I have 21 already, and there are more to come from Thancred's um, bingo board. So here, the real prize on these is more Thancred shards if you're trying to build them. Uh, you're going to get, like this isn't something where you're going to pull units. I think you can pull Thancred from this, and this is actually how I got him the very first time. But you're mostly going to get stuff like, you know, kind of what you're seeing. Gill snappers, Yastola shards, stuff like that. I don't even know if this stuff can change. Like, it's been a minute since the Final Fantasy XIV banner. That pull sucked. That was 10 of my tickets, and we got a nothing. Alright, we have some more. Let's try it 11 more times. Give me some Thancred here. It'd be nice to walk out with like 40 or 50 Thancred shards. Brown book. Okay, whatever. Maybe get a little change going on. Not going to do it. All right. Clicking through. Snappers. Good snappers. More turtles. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love gill snappers as much as the next guy, but it advertised Thancred shards. Kind of hoping for some Thancred shards. Final Fantasy XIV being extra cruel so far. One ticket left. The golden ticket. It's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's 20 bronze gill snappers. It's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory while Charlie's still living at home during the Depression. Anyway. Okay. We got Nivlu. Uh, Nivlu Thancred, both going to get built. Stay tuned for videos of that. We got plenty of Vizior to build them. Um, I'm, we have a little special presentation coming up after this. We have an account review for a uh, Patreon sponsor of the channel. We're going to do that next. So if you want to stick around for that, please do. And that's coming up uh, right now. Okay. This is the account for uh, one of my very first Patreon followers, and I don't have very many, so uh, I wanted to offer them a chance, you know, for something, give them a shout out on stream. So this is Fate, and he asked me to do an account review for his account, and I said, hey man, do you want me to just like throw that on a video, do you want it privately? And he said, hey, yeah, throw it on a video. So here we go. Um, we're going to start with his units. So here, he has them sorted by level and this is two screenshots uh, just on top of each other so just kind of go left to right and then it works you know it progresses um, high to low so right off the bat you can tell when uh, this when fate started really kind of powering up his account we're looking at about Halloween time with Halloween Ryryu and then really popping off with Kane Super Stern and Dwayne, who at the time of the screenshot was 93, but I would venture is probably at 99 now. So you have a lot of damage in this account, I, clearly, right? 
Um, Kane, Runestern, Zombie Ryryu, damage, damage, damage. You have damage city here. You have Medina and Kilfay for some mages with a rain. That right there is a really solid, like, mage squad if you uh, ever wanted to run one of those. What I'm seeing a lack of as far as, like, high-leveled units is you are tank units. Now, I see Mott, and Mott can definitely work, and I see Rain, who is, you know, probably more of a magic tank than a physical tank, but a good tank. Um, looking at your units, if I was going to give you a suggestion of maybe what to focus on next, maybe what to save up for, is I would target something like, um, you are King Mott, or something like that down the road. I don't know what level of spender you are in the game, but if you're not a big spender, I would start putting some viz aside and being like, hey, the best way I could level up my account big time, you are Mont. Um, that would give you that like really big time tank that I don't really see right here. Uh, other notes, I really like Phoebe. Uh, that's a cool unit to invest in, and she's going to be great in manual PvP. She's going to be like really kind of cool in auto pvp if you can get her to use her quick and right she's a great support unit i see adelard i'm a big adelard fan he brings those buffs and those heals and he can jamming thrust out there with rain you got the little like fire jamming thrust squad going on really like that uh level up uh, then let's see what else are you working on here um yeah i mean it's a pretty good like if you're looking at these are my first 8 to 10 uh, units that I've invested into level 99. You picked a really good base. Uh, Medina is your big time farmer, but you have other mages to use with her. You have a ton of good damage with Kane and Ruinstern and Zombie Ryryu. So hey, your units are looking solid. Let's move on to the, uh, let's move on to the vision card. Alright, so... Right off the top, I see that you have the, the Dwayne and Kane vision card. I mean, it's just pretty clear, like, where you're going with this. Uh, you have a very, very great dark team ready to go. We call it, like, the men in black team in my guild, where it's Dwayne, Ruinstern, and Kane. Um, it's a little bit of a meme, but it's really strong. Uh, you're set for a while. Like, your power spike is here, and you, will, you should feel like you're doing good in um, Guild Wars and Arena. For a bit, right? Like, you're ready to go. Um, I really like the Fenrir. That's a fun card to work in when you're not using Dwayne's Vision card. I really like the um, the Igion. Really solid card. Let's see. What else are you working on here that would be good to max? I would max Leonis Castle. Uh, that's a... Does it max at 40 or 50? I don't know. But you're working on that, so that's smart. Diablos would be a really cool card for you to work on if you ever got some, like, select tickets or something like that, since your dark units are so strong. I think that would be a cool PvE power-up for you as well. Um, Man, yeah, with Dwayne and Demon Wall, you have so much covered with that dark team that you can really kind of piece it together from there. You have some good accuracy if you need it for, like, Dwayne with the Christmas Moogle card. Um, I see you're working on Slash Attack Up from Moraga. I like to see Chocobo getting leveled. Dude, yeah, your vision cards are in a good place. And your vision cards really complement your units. Um, if I was going to say where you should kind of focus on next, the only real... Like, if I'm looking right, the only, ma like, super magic vision card you have is Trousseau, and you have it at 99. So... That's probably your biggest single power spike for a mage team, and that will keep your mages strong. Uh, you might look towards maybe adding one more to that group, or if you're running like Kilfay, she works good with, um, gosh, almost anything. Um, Fenrir's going to work really good in your magic comps to boost the, mag the like innate magic defense of those teams a lot. So I'd say your vision cards are in a really good place. Maybe work on like Ramu. Just to give your mage squad a little more hitting power for a zombie Ryryu, something like that. Okay, great. Let's look at espers next. Okay, here's the espers for the account. Uh, love seeing uh, Odin. That's the PvP king esper right now. Um, smart one to get to 80. You got Shiva up there for your mages a little bit. Diablos for your mages. Um, it's kind of a mage-centered 
Esper leveling up here. Um, Espers do take a bit to level. Like, especially if you're not getting some extra, um, you know, like some boosts along the way. My hair's like popping up over here like crazy. Need a haircut. But anyway, stay down. Okay. What else are we working on here? Um, I see you have Demon Wall away. Like, you have a lot of really good Espers at um, Awakening, right? And plus level 50 again. Like, Demon Wall at 53 out of 80. It's really solid tank Esper. You can throw that on Dwayne, make him tanky. Uh, you got Ifrit for um, Cecil if he wants it. Or not Cecil, for Kane if he wants it. Uh, Guyon's really good on, like, Ryryu. Um, you have the, like, Tentacle Creep guy leveled up. That's really cool. I haven't worked on him yet. Uh, but he's a good mage, Esper. Um, I'd put some work into Golem. Uh, I think Golem's, like, you can't go wrong investing in Golem. Um... I'd probably stop investing in Iron Giant. Like, I think at 73 out of 80, you're going to get good value there. And you're not going to get a whole lot more value in leveling him the rest of the way. Um, that card has kind of, like, fallen off. But it's good to have it at 73, and it'll be really useful for you. Uh, you can just keep using it. But I would maybe focus the rest of... Like, I'd probably start putting your light um, building materials into Two-Headed Dragon. Um, or just saving them. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say your Esper's are in a pretty good place. Uh, if you get a chance to catch some, um, you know, some of those tickets where you can get like 100 XL Magicites, or there's some of them out there that if you're willing to spend a little bit, will give you enough materials to like fully boost an Esper. If you ever, you know, just have the inclination to grab that, well, we could boost it even more. I really like um, Siren. Like, I get a lot of use out of Siren for that slash resist and the piercing up. That would be a fun one to work on. But yeah, like, you clearly have a plan with your account, right? Like, you're building it around your dark team. You're building it around your mages with Ryryu and Rain and um, Medina and all that. And you really have two solid teams, at least. Um, so, like, kind of in review, I say Mont. You are Mont later, right? To replace your current tank Mont. Um, and then I, I think you're in a really, the, I think the coolest thing about the place you're in is you can almost pick what you want your next, like, project to be. You can be like, ooh, I really like the artwork on this unit, or I really like this vision card, and I want to build around it, because you have enough of a base at this point that you can start expanding. And that's a really fun place to be at your account to do that experimenting and expanding thing. So, um, Fate, thank you so much for being a Patreon on the stream. I hope this account review is like cool, at least if not useful. Like I don't know how useful account reviews are, but I hope it's fun. Um, big shout out to you. Big shout out to anybody who supports me on Patreon. Big shout out to anybody who watches my videos and leaves comments. I really like reading the comments. Even the ones that are like, you're dumb, this idea is wrong. I'm like, well, hey, people think that, so awesome. I haven't read the comments on my Thankard video yet. I'm probably gonna get hammered there. About to go do that. So anyway, y'all, uh, good luck on your polls. Uh, stay safe. Today's kind of a weird day in America. Like, I don't know if I work tomorrow during the attempted coup or what, but we'll see. Um, in fact, I'll probably cut that from the video because it seemed kind of political. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time.